Yeah, we train a lot in singles, in all well, fairness yeah. to that. But but the more amazing thing with her is she basically was off the water for four weeks mm -hmm. and just got back on the water uh, about a week before the Worlds and had, didn't do a start until the Worlds, hmm. just to air safely on the, on the... It was a crack on one of her ribs, uh -huh. diagnosed, you know, bone scan crack. Mm -hmm. So the normal healing time could be about four weeks. We got her back on the water, but it's still uncomfortable. So there's a little bit of referred muscle issues. Mm -hmm. So I think the more amazing thing is she didn't row for four weeks on the water. Mm -hmm. Obviously, she cross-trained right. and didn't do any hard strokes. Uh -huh. So that's uh, that's why we took her to double. I mean, if she could race in the double, she would. Right. You know, right. She was very disappointed. But I think also to come back and race pretty hard in the single was quite an achievement. Of course, Obi, the young girl, I mean, she was third at the U23s in the, in the single. Mm -hmm. She's 19. She's got right. Two or three more years of U23, uh -huh. and uh, she was nine seconds off the, the GB girl at the World U23s. Mm -hmm. So to have her an eighth in Lucerne in the single, so to have her come out and make the finals in the double is, I, I think it's a testimony to Lindsay Jenrick. There's, oh, yeah. there's your X factor. She rose yeah, yeah. well with Tracy. She rose well with Obi. Seems to be she's able the to constant. mesh. Yeah, and yeah. She's doing a great job, and she's um, got the boat going fast in the last 500. Mm -hmm. which yeah, that, I mean they really, they really blew through the field. A lot of last 500 speed, and yeah. I think that comes from her in bow seat. And, so I think she's the sort of the X factor in the whole formula.